4th, and thanks to easing restrictions in several states, there's been a surge in fireworks sales. While many are safe, there are still risks. And this week, several people have been hospitalized. ABC's Brandy Hitt reports. This is what firefighters warn could happen this 4th of July weekend while setting off fireworks. Injuries to their hands, their arms, and their facial area. These mannequins are holding illegal brands, which have led to confiscations from Connecticut to California. 12-year-old Jordan Bernstein is now recovering from second-degree burns across his face and body from what's believed to be a homemade firework. The fuse went so fast that it burned his hand, and he threw it down, thank God, and then it exploded on the ground in front of him. Last year, 11 people were killed in fireworks-related accidents, more than 10,000 injured. One blew a hole in this kayak Thursday, seriously hurting two people in Michigan. And in California, this van full of fireworks somehow caught fire. Even this professional show in Southern California two years ago proved dangerous when a firework malfunction injured 28 people. Emergency crews say your best bet is sticking with these legal brands, but even they can pose fire risks. A smoke bomb rolling down the hill bounces into the grass and now you have a problem. That's why in drought-stricken California, Bass Lake is trading in its traditional show for laser lights similar to these. Burns account for most firework-related injuries, and something as simple as